I have the pleasure of talking to Henry Spencer at the Space Access Conference 2016 in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, how would you describe what you do for a living? Um, I'm a freelance consultant originally from the software world and still doing mostly software work. Uh, my main client for the last uh, eight or nine years has been the University of Toronto Spaceflight Laboratory, which builds and flies small satellites. When you say software, you became famous for writing the Regex program? Among other things, yes. Uh, and you also had uh, your fingers in the internationalization of the Usenet? A little bit, yeah. I, we did. My uh, then partner in crime, Jeff Collier, and I did a uh, fair bit of er <coughs> early Usenet software, um, and um, actually more recently, um, I was res I was ended up being responsible for saving most of what there is of the early Usenet archives. Uh, are you still, still are you still using the Usenet? Um, no, I fell off it without particularly intending to. Uh, about 10 years ago due to some server failures yeah. and never quite ended up sorting out getting back on, not least because it freed up some time. <laughs> I, I guess it did. So how did you end up now in, in this era of space? I'd been a space nut ever since I was a small kid um, and interested for a long time. Um, I'd done a, participated in a project or two with the Canadian Space Society, which at the time was, was, putting some effort into an occasional technical project. And the group doing the most astronomy satellite, Canada's first scientific satellite in many years, um, a small, relatively small team, small local company, and the beginnings of the Spaceflight Lab, and they decided they needed to put a bit more order into the software side of most development. Um, and asked me if I was interested. I see, I see. Uh, but now it's you, you, you're having more st strategic ideas, or? Well, I've been I've been involved with teaching a course at the university, which gets into advanced design concepts, partly as a way to keep the students interested in doing something re reasonably bold, um, and partly we've tried occasionally to sell advanced projects to the Canadian Space Agency. Okay. Um, and so I've been, over, over the years, I've come up with several moderately novel ideas, some of which have come close to actually flying. So far, no actual, nothing actually in space. 